make a video on how to regroup your bearings in the x-axis. The first thing we're going to do is loosen these two 832 screws here on the end that will uh, let us see the inside of the table here. We're going to need a 330 seconds Allen wrench. Take that guy off and come straight off. Make sure you keep your screws. Next thing we're going to do, and make sure at this point we have power completely off of the machine. So I'm going to hit my emergency stop just to verify that. We're going to slowly, slowly pull the table over a little bit. And now we're going to unhook the coupling that attaches this stepper motor here to the ball screw on the inside. And we're going to do that with that same 330 seconds and we're going to be loosening this screw here on the, on the left side not this one do not touch this one it's going to be this one on this side that same 330 seconds allen screw and you could turn this with your finger like i'm doing here which to expose that screw as you need it so we're going to loosen that screw up and using your tool push it over unhook that coupling this coupling from that one, which will now give us freer range of the table. So that coupler just slides back along that motor shaft. Right. And becomes disengaged with the ball screw. So at this point, we should now have much freer motion of our table. So depending on how it feels now, after you speak to your uh, tech support on the line, depending on how this feels is how you're gonna go. And if y'all think that if this is the cause, then you'll be continuing forward with what we're about to do now. So probably what's going on is you're stopping about right here and not allowing full travel to the left side. Actually, your table should come over far enough to where this actually sticks past. You see this right here? That's perfect tip. Actually sticks out a little bit. That's why we removed the end cap so we could get this motion right here. Once this is over, you know your table's over far enough. And if that's not happening, the next thing we need to do is loosen these four screws right here. And if you look, come out here on the side. If you look in here, you can see the application. When you loosen these screws, it will allow this rail right here to back off once we loosen the set screws across the front. So we're going to go ahead and come up to the top with the three millimeter Allen wrench. Give those about a half a turn or so. Loosen up like so. Okay. Now is the important part. We're going to take a 560 force and loosen these screws. What these screws do is put pressure on your bearings, tightening up and giving the table rigidity. So we're gonna come here. All of these, we're gonna do about a quarter turn off, okay? About a quarter of a turn. Same thing here. Quarter of a turn, just like that. Come to this one, quarter of a turn. This one quarter of a turn okay so now you should even free your motion as we have now lost the tautness of your table and you also see you have a little bit of play here in your table so now it should allow if there was anything stuck in your table whatever was not allowing your bearings to be grouped should now no longer be an issue so what we want to do is pull our table all the way over make sure this is sticking out a little bit as it's supposed to back this way make sure a nice free motion come back again and this is all just to make sure you're getting free motion of your tables now we're going to retighten these screws and if you'll remember we loosen them one quarter of a turn and we want to tighten them the same way do not over tighten these screws you want to tighten it as you see here if you go to the end of the t-handle Ben I'm just using my fingertips to tighten this I'm not actually grabbing it this is a very sensitive part of the machine here and as you see the table is all the way to the left side or to the right side I'm sorry and we're going to just slowly, very lightly, tighten these up back to that quarter of a turn. As soon as I feel pressure on the screw, I'm done. No more tightening. You should never over tighten it. You should never hear a popping sound when you come back off of it. So after we get these two tightened up just a little bit, as soon as they touch, you're done. Remember that. As soon as it touches, you're done. Now we're going to come to this side. And that allows the bearings to move over to this end. So now that we're over our bearings, same thing here. Same amount of pressure, very lightly. Very lightly there. Now we're gonna come back, make sure there's no play in our table. So just shake your table a little bit here, this, just the top table. Make sure there's no play there, it's nice and tight. 
So now I'm going to double check myself, maybe put just a tad bit more onto it, like so, make sure our table is nice and taut. Back this way, adjust our bearings, same thing here, just a little bit, back. Now you want to make sure you have full motion to where this is sticking out a little bit of your table. That means your bearings are grouped correctly. Now we're ready to tighten up our screws back on the top. We grab our three millimeter Allen wrench again. All four of these get tightened up. Now I'm just gonna go through, double check myself. Two, three, four. And we should have that same motion now. Now we'll reattach our coupler to the motor, put our end cap on and we'll be done. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay. So we grab our 332nd Allen key again, and this can be a little bit of a challenge here because these do have to line up just right. So what I do is get your Allen key behind it, get that opening lined up. You'll see the opening on the plastic part. Make sure they line up with each other. And then you might uh, use like a flathead screwdriver or something like that to just to drop one real quick. A little flathead screwdriver, which will give you a allow you to push a little bit harder and that piece will snap right on just like that how it slid on so now I rotate with my finger to expose the screw as needed tighten it down as I'm pretty much as tight as you can nice and snug get that good and tight now you have to be careful again about how quickly you move the table very slowly very slowly Make sure you make your way all the way back to the end. We're going to put our end cap on. And when we put our end cap on, you put your screws in here. I'm just going to put them in by hand to start with. We want to make sure that the end cap is seated all the way at the top. So you see this, we want to eliminate this little gap you see right here because it will allow this to sit too low. So you want to push that all the way up from the bottom. As I'm pushing up, I'm going to tighten my screws down. There's that one. Then I come over here, still pushing up. And now, hopefully, you'll be able to pull your table over nice and slowly, slow, 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 all the way to the end, giving your machine now full travel. All right, thank you, Philip. Yes, sir.